it was fine for me at that time. I liked doing it. My life was in transition. I was single again and um, having a kind of regroup in many respects. Um, and I was also, no, not, not expecting to be on the air. I mean, after 60, if you're on the air, I mean, you have to have an awful lot of facelifts like, um, you know, Diane Sawyer and Leslie Stahl and all those people, you know, they're over 60 now and they look great, but it didn't, it's, they didn't let nature take its course. So I didn't care about being on the air anymore. I, I decided I have to find new things to do. Now I did get a job um, with an independent producer who was doing a series overseas called uh, Pro uh, Profiles in Progress. So that I ended up going to Indonesia and Nepal and a bunch of places doing this show. It was all about development in these countries. It had a lot to do with population growth and, and uh, getting you know, out of the third world uh, problems that they were facing. It was wonderful, I loved it. Um, but that didn't last either. And I started working at, uh, then, then I was at Columbia University for a while, putting on programs, um, uh, interviews, uh, panels. Uh, the Freedom Forum had an office in New York and I was hired there for a while to put on, uh, again, to, do, to moderate a lot of programs on uh, the same kind of issues I'd been dealing with all along and, interv and prepare interviews with authors and oh, it was a mix of things, part-time. Did, did they give you a lot of latitude as to what Oh, yeah, doing? yeah, yeah. And, and the people were very congenial and, and uh, we, we had a good working relationship. And um, I was trying to figure out what else to do that could, where I could continue to pursue women's issues. And I got involved with um, the, a thing that has become Women's E-News, which is a website involved with women's issues. And I was one of the early board founders of that. And uh, also, I'm now involved in something called the Women's Media Center, where I'm going to be working, giving media training to women's issue groups. So I have you know, now moved and teaching at NYU. And after Columbia, I went to NYU, where I've been now for almost 10 years as an adjunct professor. So I have created a mix of things at this point. Uh, I mean, I'm well beyond retirement age. It's, uh, as we speak right now, I'm 75. And you know, a lot of people are you know, doing shuffleboard in Florida, <laughs> I guess. I don't know what they do. Maybe people aren't doing that anymore. But I still have all the energy I ever had. And I, you know, I'm trying to find ways to, to be productive. 